Hello and welcome back to KSP 1.8 has dropped yesterday and uh, we are continuing our playthrough from with the Gilly return. So two episodes ago we sent the crew to Gilly to send out some science and in the previous episode they were collecting diligently and brought us a metric crap ton of science but there's lots more science captured on the surface of Gilly. So I've got Dan over here getting back to the lander which Hossie has finally stabilized after the update because it was dancing all across the board and uh, then we will be retrieving our kerbals back we will leave the experiments of course here for future generations to come and marvel at its beauty and ingenuity yes right okay that being said let's get our kerbals back home shall we and Lee stop mucking about and don't destroy the panels please Okay, board. There we go. Getting ready to take off. Hossie, are we ready? Okay, we'll go eastwards, enabling thrust and burning at 90 degree angle, withdrawing this. And of course, you're always seeing this in 1.8 times acceleration, so 180% to keep the episodes short and snappy, hopefully. Now, that being said, we need to go to the apoapsis. We will add the maneuver and we will circularize. Since it takes a metric crap ton of time to get actually to that maneuver node and look at the ghillie, how it l nice it looks, I might actually accelerate the process or maybe even skip some components. But take a look how ghillie looks. It looks more like a space rock now. As opposed to the checkerboard that it once was. Nice job, devs, and I also to my commenters, yes, I have enabled the better burn time that is within the KSP. Thank you for pointing it out that it existed. Honestly, guys, I could have missed it. Now, this will be a 10 meters per second burn, which will happen in 13 minutes. So without further ado, I will skip to that part. Right, testing out to getting some science, because it never hurts to get some science, uh, while we are transitioning to the apoapsis. Yes, so... Hossi, Dan and Enley, looking happy, and we will be starting our burn within one minute. I really like the burn time and start burn in. That's actually quite nice. There we go, let's kick the engine. And I'm my engine is still thrust gimped, so it's not a whole lot of a thrust, but because on Gilly we don't need it. Right, we will need it, however, for the ejection burn that will be coming to Kerbin, so let's correct that thrust. And now let's find a good time to burn. Setting as target, and let's find a good point I'm guessing somewhere here, probably. The idea here is just to get out of the Eve's sphere of influence. There we go. 168, not too shabby. And then we will be doing the corrections and inclination changes and all that jazz. A little bit more mucking about just to make sure that it looks well. All right. There we go. Let's time warp to the maneuver node burn and then we will be performing the burn. I really like this warp to maneuver node, it's amazing. And now it's such an illogical place where you actually need to press it, so great work. I cannot say thank you enough times to the fifth horseman and the devs for actually putting it there. Mm 
All right, time work complete and let's be ready for the burn. It will take a total of 12 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and burn. It's just important that we get out of the Eve's sphere of influence. I'm thinking this should be enough. Let's double check. Yes, we are ejecting from the air and ejecting from you. Good. That's good enough. So let's marvel the beauty of us leaving Eve and beautifully crafted Gilly. Goodbye and thank you for the science. Engaging warp, or actually time acceleration. And off it goes. All right, now we are out of the Eve sphere of influence. Next is the alignment maneuver node. There we go. Just align it and then we'll do, be doing the burn. Here we go. Perfect. 417 meters per second. Hmm, maybe I should be tweaking it a little bit. Let's see if we can get a uh, rendezvous burn for less. 600, 600. Can we get an incurbent encounter regardless of the fact that we're not inclined correctly? Probably not. No, not really. Okay, tell you what. One more check. No, not worth it. Okay. Inclination change it is. There we go. And let's warp to it. 427. 104 days. We do it old fashioned style. There we go. Burn will be coming in 10 seconds. Sort of. Five, four, three, two, one, burn. Fixing the inclination. And the kerbals are slightly upward or downwards. But in space there is no up and down, so looks good. Right, now all we need to do is set up a rendezvous with Kerbin, which will happen at some point. Now let's see. Here, nope, 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 nope. Nope, they're too far away. All right, now, if I go like this, they seem to be getting closer, but not enough. So something like that, perhaps. Oh, that's a little bit too much. So one down and let's go this way until we get an encounter which would be soon enough a little tweaks and there we go see easy peasy now let's check the encounter Ooh, that would be a harsh little break uh damn i don't think you would be able to fix the craft if we lift the break like this definitely and you're coming from the wrong inclination. Okay, so let's fix it. Okay, this is better. Better and, oh, and now you have to give me a moon encounter, come on. Okay. Carbon periapsis, yeah, I'm not too happy about it, but what can you do? Maybe I can tweak it a little. I don't want a moon flyby, I just want to return. And hopefully not die horribly in the process. Right, I don't care. I think I'm gonna keep it here-ish. 
Kind of. Come on. Give me something. I could go for the polar insertion, but I'm not really crazy on it. So, no, ah, there we go. Four set. Okay, that looks much better. We're getting somewhere. Come on, I just need to miss Moon by a little bit. You know, by a z. So let's, yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's finagle it and put it Maneuver Prograde. Where are you? There you are. Perfect. Time warp to the next one. I actually will probably skip. Alright, almost at the maneuver node and we will be burning in 40 seconds. Now I have to have a good view. Oh, almost late. Doesn't matter, I'll fix up and make sure that I have a good enough burn time. So let's see. When are we close enough? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Now reduce the thrust to 4.5. 4.5. There we go. And now burn slowly until we get an encounter. Oh, this is nice. Oh, oopsie. It's going to be a little bit polar. Ah, I'll fix it later. 86 doable for the time being. I'm overall happy with that, actually. But I will be correcting the inclination just about here. Let's warp until here first. So now we have to, well, we just have to correct the inclination a little bit. And then fix our approach, and I think we will be golden. All right, so we have a total of 541 meters per second, so that should be plenty. Now let's reduce the periapsis a little. 138, I'd like to be, to be around 35-ish. 49, come on. 29, okay, that's a little bit too much. 35, 38-ish, there we go. Overall, I'm happy with that number. Now, burn time, five minutes and 59 seconds. Okay, this is the current me telling my past me, okay, you should have increased the thrust. Otherwise, you're going to have a very long burn on your hands. Start burn in 57. Yeah. Up the thrust. In thrust, we trust. 16 seconds. That's much better. There we go. Start burn in. And go. Okay, we're dumping the periapsis down and it should be coming on the other side. 26, a little bit more and we will be golden. 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, good. We are right on the ball. Saving and let's view as a Kerbin comes slowly into play. And enjoy the return, yes. Okay, time accelerate a little bit more. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. All right, come in. And coming in. There we go. And oopsie, I went a little bit too far. Okay, physics kicking in. Retrograde, take it, back stage. Okay, and oops, oops, oops. I, 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 I. Okay, this will be a slightly fiery return. All right, so this will be a slightly fiery return. And come on, come on. You can do it. Let's see if the ablator holds. Okay, this will be a nice screenshot for the episode. So let's see if it holds. Uh, 
Okay, a brief period of silence as we hold our breath and hope that the ablator will do its job. Seems like the worst is over. Now all we have to wait is for the return to come down and then we will be collecting that show wheat science, I guess. This is a little bit dark-ish, kinda. So. Let's see if we can get some signs done, but no. Soon enough the shoots will be opening and then we are to go. Second st stage of shoots. As soon as we decelerate we'll be able to jettison the heat shield. There we go. It's gone. Five hundred meters to splash down. And here we go. Splash down. So let's see all the sweet science. And guys, uh, with this we will be wrapping up this episode. So like if you liked the episode, hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next whooping five thousand three hundred in science. We'll be spending in the next episode. Thanks and bye.